patient positioning for retromastoid craniotomy is very important since the shoulder has to be moved out of the working zone of the surgeon and more importantly the patient should be placed in the most physiological posture to avoid uh, any blockage in cranial venous drainage or strain on the neck of the patient. I uh, have come to uh, like the latter position for retromastoid craniotomy and have abandoned the use of supine position even for patients who are relatively thin. In this patient, as you can see, tape has been placed over the shoulder of the patient and the shoulder of the patient has been gently uh, retracted anteriorly and caudally. Let's go ahead and review the nuances of technique for placement and planning of the curvilinear incision. I have also abandoned the use of the linear incision for retromastoid craniotomy.